Welcome to day 16. I'm really excited about today because it's one of my favorite things to talk about. To-do lists. Now, to kind of let you know why this is so important to me and why I think making a to-do list is so, so helpful. Um, I want to just give you a little brief background on, on what I did when I first started really utilizing to-do lists and how it made a huge difference for me. So, back now, gosh, about a couple years ago now, I went back to grad school. I went um, full-time and it was a program that was a year and 12 weeks, so it was very, very quick, really without any breaks, um, and I went full-time. I also worked full-time. I kept my uh, cardiovascular research position at that time, so I worked full-time. I went to grad school full-time, and because I didn't have enough on my plate, I started my Beachbody coaching business, and obviously tried to do as much as I could for that to get it really, really going, and also decided to start my fitness instructor career at the same time. So as you can imagine, between working a full-time job, which has a fairly irregular schedule, um, is pretty demanding on my time and my energy. Um, going to grad school full time, which also is a demand on my time and energy, and then trying to start a business and trying to um, develop a fitness career. You can imagine I had a lot going on, and there was so much floating around in my head, so many different things that I had to do for different people and different activities with different deadlines. It's way too much to keep in my head. And I think most people who have a life can relate to that. If you have a job, you have kids, you go to church, you go to activities, you go on vacations, you have family, you have things going on with different deadlines, you have know, bills, things that have to be done by a certain time in a certain way for certain people, and it's so easy to forget, and it's so easy to get stressed out. And I think to-do lists are an excellent way to take some of that pressure off, take some of that stress away, and get a handle on your life. So. Um, there's a whole host of information out on the web about how to do to-do lists and what they should include, and it's really up to you. Um, you know, what you put on your to-do list really depends on what's important to you and what you need to get done. Um, my suggestion as far as to-do lists go, first of all, don't overdo it, because once you start making a list, it's really easy to put everything you want to do on that list. Don't put everything you want to do. Put things that you know have to get done or that you want to do and need to do and they're really important to you and then if you can um, try to use, utilize a system that lets you prioritize what things are most important so if you know certain things have to be done that day by a certain hour that that's priority A the next most important thing that's B you know or one two three depending on how you wanna wh whatever system works for you try to figure out what really needs to get done so that by the end of the day if you run out of time the more important and crucial things have at least been taken care of and the things that can get <coughs> excuse me passed on to tomorrow can get passed on to tomorrow sorry now another um, key thing with to-do lists I think it's it's good to take things that you know are reoccurring like scheduled meetings with your boss that you have every single week at 3 p.m. on Tuesday or seminars you attend um, your kids' games, um, you know, webinars that you're interested in attending live, things like that, things that you know every week come up at the same time, even TV shows you're interested in. Put these things on a schedule. You know, block out that time, and then once you have sort of your to-do list per day, you can fill in other pieces of your time depending on what needs to be done, when it needs to be done. So as far as structuring the actual to-do list, um, I think Ideally, you should have one for the year, for the month, for the week, and for every single day. Um, because there are things that don't have to be done today, but they should be done this week. Things that don't have to be done this week, but they should be done this month. You get the idea. So, um, the sort of same general principles apply to all of these lists, but I'm primarily going to focus on a daily to-do list. So I think um, there's a, a whole host of things you could put on your list, but I think it's good to focus on sort of few different fields, right? So there's your business, um, so you should have your daily activities that relate to your business. Now, the most simple ones with beach body coaching are obviously the three vital behaviors, right? So I would make sure you get your psychology in, make sure you get your workout in, um, and make sure you're connecting with people. And then put some sort of, um, you know, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 pages, whatever, some sort of 
key goal for personal development every single day, even if it's just five minutes, it needs to be on that list. Um, so those are sort of your business activities. Um, you can sort of have a more specific uh, business list, which is you know following up with people, um, tasks like listening to team calls, um, you know contacting prospects, uh, checking into your challenge groups, those sort of things also need to be on your list. Um, make sure you're putting things on your list too that relate to your personal life and your happiness. You know, if, if in your weekly to-do list you make sure to schedule a date night with your loved one or schedule family time, you know, schedule an hour with your family every single night that's not you know, cell phone free, no Facebook, no nothing, like, you just spend with your family. Or, you know, block time to hang out with the girls and go out for a night. Um, block time for yourself to, you know, get a massage or sit in a bathtub for an hour. I mean, whatever it is that's going to make you feel relaxed, put these things on your to-do list. Because those are all important. Because they're important for your mental health, they're important for your emotional health, which in turn is going to affect your business and your physical activity and your drive and so on and so forth. Um, so those are sort of my thoughts on what the actual to-do list should include and, and why I think it's obviously important. Um, so the next question is how and, and where and, you know, do I, do I put it in a notebook? Do I put it on my phone? And that's, again, up to you. I've tried probably every single system out there. Um, I've tried a whole host of apps, you know, simple ones that just let you do a, a checklist, fancier ones that let you decide you know, what group to put things in, categorize, you can schedule. I've used a calendar, just, you know, Google Calendar, um, which you can have email you or text you or message you notifications about deadlines, um, you know, and make different types of calendars that have different colors so you can really get organized. Um, you can use Evernote to, to do things with your to-do list um, because you can take that on your phone, you can take it anywhere on the web. Um, there's really a, just a ton of options. I find that work, what works best for me is a good old-fashioned notebook <laughs> and just a notepad where I write down my daily to-do list and I check things off by hand, um, partly because I think there's some, some really strong connection that comes from writing things by hand and the way it sticks in your brain. Um, so it helps me remember these things better. Um, but key things I will put on my Google Calendar so that I can get notifications so that I do not forget about them. So meetings with people or, um, you know, webinars that I really want to attend live, um, bills, things like reoccurring meetings, those things I schedule so that I get a notification. Um, so you're going to have to play around a little bit. There's really, there's a lot of good material. I think Evernote works great for some things. Um, Wonderlist has been a really great app because it's also online. But again, I, I tend to go back to just good old pen and paper, but that works for me. You know, for some people, the smartphone, it goes everywhere with you, so if you can find an app that suits you, that's probably ideal, because most of us have smartphones, and if you can take it anywhere with you, then you'll never forget your to-do list, you'll never forget what you need to do today, because it's always going to be by your side. So, um, I would say play around. There's really a lot of options, and I think having the one that works for you will help you stick to your to-do list, and will help you um, make it on a regular basis. So... The last thing I wanted to kind of talk about was um, sort of the pros of doing a to-do list. Why, why is it really that helpful? Well, for one, you don't have to carry all the stuff in your brain at all times. Think about how stressful it can be to just have to carry so much information and worry about deadlines and, and projects and papers, you know, things that you need to do and attend to, and trying to carry that all in your head and not forget or confuse anything it's impossible. Like, you're going to forget something. You're gonna miss a bill or you're gonna forget to email somebody back. And some of those things can be, you know, crucial even if they don't seem that important. They might, you know, say you don't follow up with somebody and that could have been the next star diamond on your team or, you know, that could have been a next business opportunity for you. So it's really, I think, important to, to take all that out of your head and put it on paper because then it's clearly there you don't have to think about it, you don't have to remember stuff, and that is such stress relief when you don't have to carry all that in your head and on your shoulders every single day. Because it's all written out on paper, you don't have to think about it. In the morning you can wake up, look at your list, and you just know what to do. You don't have to sit there and waste time, which is the other thing. It saves you a lot of time because you're not sitting there starting every single day thinking, oh, okay, what do I need to do? 
or you know every time you stop one activity or finish you have to say okay well what else what, what else was I supposed to get done you can just go to your list and go to step two step three and check things off and that's a huge time saver if you take a little bit of time for instance every Sunday night and sit there and plan out what needs to be done that week and then every single day take a couple minutes and just plan out your plan for the next day it's gonna save you loads of time because again you don't have to spend all the time trying to remember everything or trying to organize your thoughts or figure out who was I supposed to email or what were we supposed to email each other about you don't waste that time and then you don't waste the time stressing or fiddling around and killing time on Facebook because you have a clear action plan for the day which ultimately is going to give you a lot more time later on to, to enjoy yourself and to do things with your family or by yourself or with your loved one and relax a little bit. Um, so I think those are sort of the biggest reasons for it. And then the sort of secondary pros are you have proof of your productivity, which on an emotional level is great. It releases chemicals when you check these things off of your list that, that make you feel good, that make you feel accomplished, that make you feel like you know you did something so that you know if, if ever there's doubt whether you had a productive day or not you can say I got the list and I checked all this stuff off so I did stuff today I was productive I accomplished things and that's gonna make you feel good that's gonna make you feel like you're not wasting your time and that's also important it's important to feel like you're doing things and it's important to do things so um, I think those are basically my biggest points I could talk about this for hours but I don't want to make this video too too long but really I find a way to keep a to-do list that works for you so whether it's an app online by hand whatever works and make sure you're taking a little bit of time every single day to make a to-do list for the following day or if it's easier for you you can start first thing in the morning and then make your to-do list for that particular day and again I suggest doing this for every day every week every month and the year it's gonna change over time but that's okay but at least you have concrete things that you know when they're coming up, you know what you need to get done so you can stop wasting time and you can stop being stressed out about trying to remember every single little detail in your brain. Because you don't have to. Things, things are out there that make it so much easier for you and so much less stressful. So take advantage of them. Alright, and if you have any questions, you let me know because again, I love this topic and I have plenty of experience with making to-do lists um, and, and I can have, point you to uh, lots of tools so I'm more than happy to help but I need you to get started, and if you're not doing to-do lists already, then you need to start today, alright? I'll see you in the next video.